A pleasure to be venturing into our third map of our first of our fourth day. See how this one shapes up. Fifth day, excuse me. God, time flies when you're having fun. Let's get into it. It's European semi-finals. North America around the corner as well. 100 Thieves Team 1. EG Rebirth tonight. GG.bet believes OG have a slight edge here. And after seeing Fnatic pick up Steam on Inferno, it remains to be seen whether they can carry that over. Ooh, three challenging out middle. Challenging up short as well. Brolin, oh, wow, okay. Golden finding it too is suddenly just the Eagle. this. It's nuts. And yeah, the it. Eagle's back out for Golden. We saw it before. Oh. Make a bit of a debut, but it still needs to find its placement and it eventually does. But with the bomb planted and merely one man to try and stop anything happening from it, it looks like it's potentially one for Fnatic here. I don't see how Issa manages much off this and I think he knows the same scenario. Counter-Strike's really reached the point that, I, I, look, I still love it. It's the only thing I ever truly will love, but um, it's reaching a point now that I never thought it would, with saves on pistol rounds. I, I never thought I would see the day where we would have players saving on pistol round. Now, Issa here, if he can get this defuse kit, it's going to be even better for him because he has the Kevlar, has 100 points on it, actually gets the Deagle. That is such a nice find. Finds a nade as well, the kit. If he could grab that, that would be a massive haul for Issa to take away. Now, the reason I never thought I would see that is because I didn't realize that Counter-Strike would ever come down to the level of detail it does with the economy and all those extra bits and pieces of percentage CS. Yeah. The evolution of this was really kicked into hyperdrive back in 2018 when Astralis, they took the crown of the kings of Counter-Strike and were able to really just show everybody fantastic utility usage and the importance of, you know, playing the percentage CS in regards to saves and the smarter maneuvers. And we've seen a couple of elements, you know, more um, characterized by the individuals. Flusher likes to go Glock armor when he knows he's against the low buy. Uh, we've seen Chris J on mouse sports, typically even in full weapon rounds, prioritizing just Kevlar and Deagles. Astralis, for example, often preserve $500 in cash when going for their Deagle forces. Lots of teams have got different ideas as to how they can best manipulate the economy to suit them. And uh, in this case, just a bit of scavenging from Issa working out nicely. JW did hit a very good shot considering, I think it may have even been a headshot just through the lip of that window. Nothing else can explain 70 damage being done by an AK into an armored opponent. He has baited them into himself here, JW. If he gets caught with his knife out, he won't be too happy. Spotted the body there. Oh. Hello. You are uh, joking. He did not mean for that to happen. Nope. He did not expect that smoke push whatsoever. And that's an AK for Alexi. Yeah, now things get awkward. If they hit B, he's dropping a smoke short. He can focus his attention towards the apartments. They aren't disrespecting it. And Alexi connects the spray. Brolin's going oh, wide. Yeah. He tucks in. This is a nightmare. You're absolutely right. And it's starting to become a reality. Oh, dear. Their nightmares are living in the real world at this point. And BK's got three with the AK-47. And that is one way to make the second round sing. OG equalize and send Fnatic into squalor. This is worse than losing oh. two rounds in a row. Yeah, I would be super tilted right now if I was Fnatic with the way that one went on down. And they were kind of rushed into it because of the positions they found themselves in on catwalk. They didn't want to allow the AK to be thrown around and then from that point picks to be found, but they ran on into the blender and gave up another AK. I'm going to be keeping my eye on JW's kill tally here. Because at the third map, an important one, I know that they like to shoot the bodies and get people riled up, but I'm sure RJW is no stranger to the salt himself. Roland, what you got for us? Golden, usually the one to find a frag when no one expects Aid. it. Do two nades and an incendiary and a JW push gone to awry. That's a tag from a scout though, and they are going to try and lock the doors here of middle. It enables them to really deny any sort of potential concerning stacks. I cannot believe round two. Can you grab it for Skybox? Because you're going to have forgotten about it by the time we're in the post-match. I'll just pause it while it's on the screen there yeah. and we can uh, Thank you. make a little bit of a note because that could actually just be game-changing. It's only the second round of the game played. <laughs> More from a mental standpoint, like the yes. picture you were painting as opposed to actually an in-game one because Fnatic, they should be able to bounce back. But this force by looks like it's going to be dealt with. Mantu is tagged, so a little bit of... It's kind of all right on now. Issa now. Like if, if he was to go down to a crazy 1D, sure. things get awkward. But other than that... Especially considering that it just seems Fnatic are changing their mind again. They've corralled them to this point after that mid play and obviously finding JW an underpass. Okay, so Golden wants to try and find something up middle. Okay. Just wants to draw some attention, but with 35 seconds remaining, he's going to have to be quick about this one and noisy. Because no one's that. I mean, Alexi B will dip back, pro to window every now and then. That nade. It's actually pretty good. I thought it might go a little too deep, but no. So Golden's going to get the attention probably... Actually, excuse me, Alexis behind. 
They're hedging B. And Crimson just found one A. It will come down to Wissa. 14 seconds, he knows it. Here's the steps. Brolin not gonna get a clean one. He needs to stop that bomb. That's his priority. And he focuses now on gold and the rotates come in. Lovely Nissa work. Has handled this one with class. Second found, not a body dropped other than Mantu yet to find a frag, but his teammates have in buckets and spades. Five for Alexi, four for Issa and MBK. Three members of OG fragging, two yet to really find a single connection. Yeah, now it will just have to be the save here from Fnatic. So three rounds on the board for OG within the early stages of this third map and just basically becomes a one map series at this point. The other two, what happened in the previous, don't even really matter. No one was lacking in terms of the frag department. Both map wins were team efforts from the respective squads. So as we get underway, everybody's warmed up. There's no excuses for that. It just really comes down to the approach here and who's better prepared. And so far, well, OG, I don't know if they were better prepared, but they got the better end of the stick on round number two, and that's propelled them forward with two extra rounds off the back of that. You can see the trickle-on effects here of the economy in Counter-Strike and how cruel of a mistress she can be. And while well, the Glock train, they've taken space towards middle. If they can overwhelm one player, that's good. But Valder's waiting. Dinked on up. We'll find a frag. Spams forward for another. And there you go. He's going to convert. The cavalry's arrived. Brolin's taken some space, but he can't really do anything with this. It's just a Glock. Yeah, and he's not much of a knife kill fan, so... Oh, Mantu had a look. Yeah, this this is wrapped up. Nicely done by OG. Bit of an equalizer, bit of a reminder, you know, OG very much in this affair. And, and keep in mind that Inferno was maybe a little too much of a fanatic domain. You can't pick that map and not expect them to do well. Even 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 at their losses, it feels as though you're going to get a good game out of them. But obviously with the win leading into Mirage, this might be a reminder for some why actually a good couple of people probably would have banked on OG picking this one up. They, they're a very solid team right now. And Fnatic, of course... Similar affair, both of us, I think all of us found it hard to separate these two, but the first gun round's gonna come in and we have to see the lean and it's instantaneously quite hefty towards A. Deep smoke there will garner some control over towards the B side of things, but as you mentioned, Lauren, it will be this A hit. So JW patrolling in middle, lots of work. It can be a lurk because the A hit, once this smoke clears, is coming on through. JW now signaling his presence towards the middle side of things. Valder on the jump peak. It's all gonna come down to timing here and the crossfire with Issa. Flash has come over and away we go. Isa spots out one. He did well before, but not this time. Too aware the dark was a problem. Look at that damage, though. It's there, but they still need to bring everything across Galil's MP9s. They're still not great even at range. Mantu's in middle. Oh. Alexi B through the smoke. Apparently, it doesn't seem to matter. Alexi B hasn't seen them. He hasn't seen any of these players. And he's going to find JW as ace. well. Could be the ace. A clutch required. Flash is low, and they are going to meet CT. Alexi B, oh ladies God. and gentlemen, the Finn finishes with style and it will be a fourth as the defuse will be locked up, looking for anything you can shop around for. Now, uh, let's talk about round two again for a second, because who was the man who took the AK out of the hands of JW? It was Alexi. Then once he dropped back towards the site and they came up short, he was able to drop another gun that MBK then picked up and finished off the round with. And now an ace in another impact round. This is the first proper gun round of the game here. And Alexi B has just aced them. Three kills through the smoke, as easy as you like. And then finishing off the 1v2 with poise absolutely booking Fnatic here. And he made it look is, easy, Chad. He did. He didn't have to do anything out of the ordinary right there. He made it just look like a standard round of Counter-Strike, just another day at the office. And Alexi, with that massive play, has really put Fnatic in uh, hot water as you far as rounds are concerned. round two and round five, that is the salt package. How is Mantu alive? The flashes have kept him there, and now Valder's looking for the double, not to be Brolin. Could get caught here. Alexi wants to bring the aggression. He goes one for one. Brolin with a great trade, a powerful one. Recovers the AK-47. Numbers are equal. JW wants to change that. Spots out MBK. The spray's not there. Certainly not for the Swede. And now things once again return to the OG advantage. It's a familiar turf for the first five rounds. Bomb recovered. Flusher and Brolin. These are normally the Fnatic specialty, right? Once they make a bit of a meal of it in the early stages, they cause both teams issues and chaos, and then they convert. But right now, they're grouping on up, and this means they have to trade off of each other. But the AWP is the best weapon for the job. Yeah, Mantu's going to post up for this too. That's great. That's bomb drop. Doesn't have to fully back away. Sticks to the window. Oh. Oh, goodbye, Brawn. Hello, another round for OG. Beautifully handled. And as I said, normally the chaos just encourages Fnatic. It normally keeps them in the game. But right now, they're losing out. I reckon Mantu's thinking in that pose right there. 
thinking, I'm a team player and I'm the best from the UK until Alex comes back and then that conversation starts. Yeah, got a, got a little while until yeah. we the see... The strange uh, monologue he's having. I don't yeah, know why he's I, talking it's, about that. It's crazy. And then Smooth is sitting <laughs> on the sidelines thinking, what the hell is this guy thinking? But uh, for sure, Mantu has been one to splash onto the scene within his addition over to the OG squad. And while well, a big splash is being felt from Alexi, look at this, 162 <laughs> points of ATR, 11 kills. One of uh, his rounds has been an ace. And it's a string of five here for OG to kick things off. This is looking great for them, but we know how quickly these halves can turn around. Fnatic just down to the pistols here. We'll try and whittle away some of this CT-sided economy that has been built. It's up to 6,500. He's got the most right now on the side of things for the OG buy couple of players hovering close to that 5k mark so money are plenty for og as we get back underway with round number seven fanatic will be getting the max loss bonus in the next round and it will just be these pistols coming on out so a little bit of utility set up for a b execute ow trickling a smoke forward mbk holding off on the nade dunks it onto on top of the molly so a little bit early there from mbk but no worries, as he does have a rotation coming in right now. This is going to be in the right place at the right time, and over towards Cat will be Alexi B swinging on in. Great nade damage. That's softened him up now. Nathan, NBK, looking for his second, and JW's doing a very good job of drawing his crosshair as wide as he can, trying to get him out of ammo, and it works. Alexi's holding them out. And there we have it. Another triple kill for Alexi. What's he on? 14 and 3. <laughs> 166 average damage per round. He's practically killing one and a half players every round of play so far. And that's quite the start you need on the CT side of Mirage, our third of our first semi-final. Okay, Fnatic, what have you got? Because if this one slips away in such a quick fashion on a map that uh, Krim said you guys were pretty comfortable on, then we have to start asking some questions. Hasn't been a great year for Fnatic other than the ESL Pro League win in Season 11. Other than that, it's been uh, pretty disappointing. And that from Mantu is great again. JW down immediately. He's having a nightmare. Only two kills for JW. Yeah, he's been shot down there a couple of times now as well. Think about the time they went aggressive towards the top of middle. Alexi B tries to come back up and look at this angle. Now the smokes managed to at least get gold into safety, but Krims is still there. But you've got Brolin as well. Brolin could ruin this. This could all be dealt with, but he's not checking on it. Did he's you heard hear that, that, surely. Maybe someone calling something at the same time may not have heard it, but now curious. Alexi B's surely dead. They're both dead. Oh. Roland, so happy with that after how that could have gone. That is the best result he could have hoped for. Yeah, MBK confirms he's still connected, though. Smoke does block him out. Oh, he's, uh... he's needs at least one, and he needs to slow them down. Roland's the only one really fragging so far for Fnatic in this. Yeah, Flasher could find MBK on the hunt. Oh, timing. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, the worst timing. It's not his friend. It's his nemesis looking at the floor as MBK takes the peak. 38. Another chance for MBK. Oh, distracted. And MBK dot not going to get the double. Crim's living on. And Valda's so low. This looks suddenly viable. He's found the necessary frags to get that bomb down. Valda's got 10 HP. Oh. Crim's no, nearly went for the one tap. Confirms he's on the site. Valda so low. He's up for a real rough time oh, of it here. This. The readjustment from Crims. Whether or not Valda saw him trying to, you know, tease him into thinking that CT cross had happened and Crims then positioning here towards dark. Valda seems very aware of the possibility of him being there, but does he check on this or does he walk past? No. The bait from Crims was laid there. Hook, line, and sinker. Valda fell for it. <laughs> that was just tactical crouching as well. That's the one. I was all set off by Brolin's double there. So I don't know if it was a uh, miscommunication from OG not knowing somebody could get so close towards the connector. But regardless, it is around on the board for Fnatic and Krim's having to convert a one on two situation. A very important one on two situation considering the context of this round. You can see fighting on in hard is Valda in the back. Krim's takes him on down there. Round number two on the board. And let's see if OG can bounce back immediately as we get back underway. Round nine, aggressive in towards Palace. Valda's seen him. Flush out, you're oh no. in trouble. Oh no, this is no fun for, Fa for Flower. I was going to say Valda, and then I started trying to second guess myself. No one's going down after that whole exchange. Manti needs to stop this, and so has Valda. Great contribution, considering... Can't oh. get the double. Golden tagged up. Alexi trying to rock the boat a little bit. This 2v4 has become a 1v4. Oh. Look how quick this round went. Yep. it goes down. The dominoes fall. 
Alexi, the hero, less, left last alive, and now he has to fall back. Remember that train game we did with Alexi not long ago? We had like 18 kills in the first six rounds of the game or something absolutely mental like that. Well, uh, had a similar start here on Mirage, and now if mm. Fnatic continue to mount some rounds and these frags, we can see if it's just the one-man show or if anybody else from OG can help him on out here. That just felt like full Fnatic, though. You know what I mean? Just like mad Run commitment kill. through the ramp. Like, there's nothing like fancy about it. There's no like, you know, poise to it. Even though there obviously is, it does just look very brute forcey, and they bank on the fact they have some really good individuals to use. One of the keys here as well, uh, oh, actually, it was uh, a big kill there onto Issa to open things up, I do believe. But one of the things is once you know that one of the A players has been taken down, the other one was spotted towards halls, they know how much room they can actually take towards Tetris and continue to push forward and what utility they need to throw to deal with that rotation. But you can see Brolin doing his uh, best Alexi B impression right now. 10 kills, <laughs> 107 ADR. And then everybody else on his on his team really just working with uh, Peanuts of Frags. JW with two, Flusher with two, four apiece, four Crims and Golden. And as we get this back underway, the buy will come out once more from OG. AWP, M4s, and there's a secondary AWP for Alexi. So thinking he needs to maybe have a little bit more presence on the map right here. Utility is low. So let's see if that has any issues right now. It's over towards the middle we go. Yeah, four members of Fnatic of the less frags than Alexi B has individually. And he wants more. Really? Oh, really? Alexi. He has the advantage. The flash is there, though, and couldn't quite get his vision restored in time. Looks like he actually shouldered Roland down to 19. Conversation changes now. It did start with Alexi being the hero with an ace and the impact on round number two. And But if Fnatic come back and tie this up at 6-6, six, six, the discussion goes, where is everybody else? Alexi had impact rounds. We need a couple more from OG players here. And now that they have no utility left other than one single HE, not a single diffuse kit in play, and there's a minute and five seconds left on the clock, at this point for Fnatic, group up. Look at the truckload of utility they have. Smokes galore, mollies, flashes, all the goodies. Sure, mid's being cleared, information's given, but they've given up the bomb sites. No one playing towards B, only in limbo towards A will be Volder, but he can get isolated and smoked off very quick towards that connected position. OG need to get a move on back towards one of these sites, and they're actually gambling stacking towards A. They're huh. biting oh. on this fake. Yeah, they threw the connector smoke from B and they bought it. Look at this. I love Two that. CTs make it three rotating in. MBK is going round from T spawn. This is a free round. This is four. GW might quietly. even kill them all. Why has he gone here so silently while Val just sat there like, mm -hmm. something feels weird, but... He's actually going to join them at B. Look at the way they've pulled this off. This <gasps> is a great round of Counter-Strike. Oh, get screwed. Okay, well now... Do Fnatic want to hunt? Apparently, Krim signals yes. Mantu gets a freebie. It was There is zero chance they're expecting JW here, though. Well, the problem is now they know that they can have come through short and thus through the window. At that point, they've cleared a round together. That was interesting to see, but JW getting inquisitive now. Mantu is isolated towards CT, but the rest of them all over towards Tetris and the A ramp, and they're just staying together. Fnatic knowing they need to start building a little bit of a bank of their own by allowing these four weapons to come on through. OG will have another dip with these same four guns, and they can even drop across a Famous here to equip Alexi B. So at this point, OG are happy with that. Obviously not happy they lost the round, but the way this one started and the gamble that they made, they didn't lose anything for it. <laughs> Definitely not happy about it. Every time Fnatic went around, we cut to Crim's mad as hell. Yeah, just, yeah, just something's wrong. It is strange. Oh, if we're around ahead. Yeah, I got frustrated at that before. I don't want to have to get frustrated at it again. So let's... Uh, let's hope. Let's really hope. Let's see if Crim's dies in a way that would piss him off. <laughs> Where is he right now? JW's tucked in here. Mantu's been known for a little bit of a walk-up. He will check his corners. J-dubs. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Nice shots. Flash wants to try and equal things up. He's parked his teammate NBK in the corner and rotating all the way around. Seems that the uh, comms from his teammates suggesting that may not be the best of plays. He's returned now to apartments, and rightfully so. A minute on the board now. We consider where they go with this. It looks like heading back towards A, trying to sell him out. Yeah, he's thrown the flash. He's done the scope noise. It is going to keep at least two CTs parked there. Smoke to continue to sell it. Doing essentially the role of JW from the round prior. 
Well, let's see if that <laughs> potential tilt on? comes in. <laughs> it's 40 seconds. We've come back here. They haven't really drawn much rotation. Yes, Alexi B is considering it, but there's a gap, and it looks like East is going to have really good vision on Crims, which might make him angry if this happens. Easter now follows forward. Yep, that's gorgeous. And Crims could do nothing about this. He had to just sit and watch as now he tries to leer out a little, but East is on it. Valda shuts him down, and this round was almost a non-starter. Yeah, this round was rubbish from Fnatic, to be completely <laughs> honest with you. They didn't really have any clear intent there. After JW goes down, it felt like the wind got sucked out of it. Now it's flusher to potentially go down after time. We'll have to hide in plain sight behind these mid boxes, but just as he gets away, Volda didn't see him. So he will get an opportunity to save the AWP and money will be decent enough for a buy in the next rounds. Now, uh, all in all, we've uh, sent the messages to the higher ups and we're going to see if we can avoid having those incorrect player reactions. Yeah, definitely. It's not fun for us and I'm sure it's not fun for you. Rather, we just didn't have them. You don't like spoiler question mark? Not in the third map of a semi-final. <laughs> That's right. I can see JW getting mad about that round that one right makes there. Sense. So we'll give you that one. As, uh, we get timeout coming through from Fnatic. They're second here in the first half of play. Seven to four. Scoreline hasn't really gotten out of control considering the way this map started. Fnatic have done a decent job of battling back on in. They will be able to buy once more. That saved AWP thrown across to JW. AKs, look at that. Three of which OG have on that CT side of things now. One M4 for Valda and the AWP for Man to in play. They've been able to lock this out. So some solid fragging across the board now as OG, their kill tally starts to mount. And freeze time comes to its conclusion. I think something quicker out of Fnatic here might be in the cards. I mean, it, it makes it look good when they do that. Just simple. And the steamroll. Just get it going. Get it in their face. And maybe that's exactly it. They're all looking like A's very likely. Sometimes you just need to tell the same five players the same letter. Good mollies. This is quick. Awesome back. This has got a lot to do. And Brolin wins the first duel. A miss from Mantu as well. This feels... All too oh. familiar, Fnatic just saying A. And again, the gap is exploited, a triple kill. Brolin with the double. Locked Safe. out, yeah. I mean, the famous keep it simple, stupid, right? Yeah. yeah. But you see that Molotov, the Molly lands, that immediately moves them out of position, but Fnatic are playing ahead of their smokes. So the smokes are still in the air as they're making that attack onto the site. So if OG players are sitting there thinking, oh, if we wait till the smokes go off and then we'll take the fights after that and they get caught a little bit lackadaisical seeing if they can find a frag, well, they're the ones getting caught off guard. Mm. And Fnatic now, as simple as you like, a very quick approach in very Fnatic-esque style, gets themselves a fifth round on the board. OG, well, they will be able to buy Money for both teams is in a very good position right now. Bomb is going to go on off. Five will be posted on the board. Stalemate as MBK and Volder will get to keep their goodies. Mantu has enough for that AWP, so there's no dramas there. This time round, I assume we'll go AWP with Kevlar and Light Utility behind it. Won't or shouldn't really need to buy into that head armor. Not a necessary option against AK-47s on the other side of things. But AK-47s is what's been lost on that OG side. So they did have a bucket load of them, and now they're only down to what I believe will just be one. And good stuff there from Fnatic to get around back on the board. Here we go, round 13. Similar approach again, direct towards the A side of things. Just one individual selling a fake towards middle, and Crimson's gone down through the smoke. Well, I guess they've lost that mid-punch they'd really like to maybe add to this quite dry hit. And Brolin may be thinking twice about this now. Brolin wants to have a look on this flash. I just hate how stalled out it feels. I understand they can't just go in. They can't just fight in a four-on-five situation the way that they'd like. They feel like they have to have a bit more map presence so they don't get stacked on, see if they can find a kill here. But OG tend to play by the book quite a lot, and you can see they're not actually playing forward for too much information. They crossfire in middle. Why would you when you have the man advantage? Yeah, this crossfire is a little bit dicey, but the fact that Mantu, you know, he has so much information, if he gets smoked off, then Alexi probably tries to get away. But at that point, you can just sit and you can just wait. Because this late in the round, you wouldn't be expecting it. And now it seems like they're selling the same fake. So the smoke coming over from the B side of things over towards Connector. I think that's missed, Rush. Can't really tell. It has missed. Yeah, definitely 
well and truly open and available. If it becomes a problem, Alexi B will be the one to exploit it. We do see Golden working mid, but towards A we go. East is there on the side. Can isolate one. Brolin goes down. And again, this lacks momentum. It lacks that punch, that speed. It kind of just fizzles out. Yeah, it feels like there's no trade potential in rounds like that. And the OG players are more than happy to play heads up Counter-Strike and take their jewels. They win them, they convert them, and now they post eight on the board. So round 14, looking good for Fnatic's money, but their approach. Now, if I'm OG, what am I expecting? Fast. I'm expecting something pretty direct, pretty fast, pretty execute-based. This is Golden coming through the smoke, and hello. Alexi B more than happy to take that kill. Orps out for Golden this time. Maybe going for a fight towards middle. Big fight here on the cards. Mantu. He's in window. And no one hits their shot, but Alexi does. Oh, Alexi B is just saving these boys. Whenever things get a little dicey, he quells that tempo. And Flusher tries to play in. Not going to happen. Issa, more than a safe pair of hands towards A. Just like that, three bodies hit the deck. And Crims is wondering where it all went wrong. He's been spotted, I think. Yeah, Mantu's just uh, one strafe away. There we go. A warning shot oh. and a great shot, but there's oh. the orb. Fills the feed. Katowice, Katowice 2014 in particular, known for its stickers. Fnatic, one of those prized possessions, but at the moment, looks like victory is starting to elude them. Admittedly, we've seen Fnatic do this on multiple maps across the series. Okay. The 10 is on and certainly looking like it favors OG with only Teagles for JW and Golden. Turns to Flusher, Crims, Brolin, two of which have not been fragging too well. And two of which just caught a big fat nade. This is risky stuff from Mantu. Valda's the one to pick up the pieces. That orb can be retrieved though. And they charge, they charge fast. It's so very much the momentum that was missing in the round prior. Alexi tends to pick up the pieces, but the scavenged orb is hitting shots. It's hitting double. JW has single-handedly found a way into this round to keep it competitive. NBK hoping and praying he could find a gap as the smoke fades. Crims has not moved a muscle, plants his feet, knows where the fight could come from. Mantu's positioning is going to come back to horn him here. A fast mid play. GW's going around the world. Crims just needs to stay alive and they've won it. So all they've got to do is live. Sounds simple enough. Oh, a good wall bang, but yeah, he's going round the world. He'd, he'd have to drop a smoke, which he just simply doesn't have, and JW's never going to miss that. Three kills from him, turning it around a six to nine half. Fnatic heading over to the other side of things. We'll take a quick one.
emotions It's super slow motion It's time to lose your inhibition Developing a blind ambition Fire it up, ignite it I don't wanna fight it no more I wanna see where this can go I'm done with playing around not knowing OG up against Fnatic. We're in what is the final map here in the semi-final, and it's been quite an arduous task. The pace, when it fell with Fnatic, it looked good. However, OG kept things so well put together, I can't help but think this might be a bit of a tougher challenge for, for Fnatic than I expected. They closed on a high, though. That was a nice True. round to round things out with. And going into the second half, 9-6, well, it's not too shabby. It's definitely not the end of the world. It's probably par for the course on a map like Mirage. But we get back underway, and the GG dot bet odds are, fi are favoring that of OG. Okay. We can see the purchase coming on through. They got a P250 in the mix. They've got a Molotov that's been plied very, very nicely. They get mid control for free, and here they push forward. Flash comes out. Brolin can't connect. He's done a little bit of peppering of damage, but, but nothing to write home about. Look at the fire he's oh, waiting. What? Golden! Incredible shooting. And he's got support. He had JW there. They saw the bomb. They saw it all, and they prepared themselves. That was fantastic shots Shot. there from Golden. Holy moly. Red beans and ravioli. The quick flick over towards the palace position, and that's all she wrote from OG in the pistol rounds. Curious to see if they go for the force by or the save here. No plant, meaning the money is just that $1,900 loss bonus. And uh, this is the first one from Golden. Are you ready? Four. Are you ready? Whoop. Oof, holy moly, mashed avocado guacamole. Crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy. And that's just the first round of play of our third map. Four spy. Second half. Okay, they have four smokes for OG. So let's see what they do with this. I would say they search early for info. See if they can find a frag, draw out some CT utility, and then go for a set piece to get that bomb down. They have the scout with Mantu, so he can go for a couple of little picks. They've been able to already get under window control, and Crims needs to be careful here. Look at this connector control already. Problems now towards A. J-Dub's about to catch a bullet. Ooh, Lexi B, the one to hand it out, and he's made that Deagle sing. That's A open. That's three frags. OG looking to take the second round by Storm again, Chad. This is twice we've talked about it, and twice it's occurred. Golden Brolin, there's nothing you can do. Again, winning the pistol cleanly, convincingly, and conceding the second is going to cost Fnatic a great deal of momentum coming into this. And this is the CT economy, which is even yeah. more punishing. And the hero, again, is Alexi. Yep. He is able to do in the early stages of the T-half what he did on that CT side. He might put OG on the precipice of closing this one out and pushing OG through to their first grand final since the inception of this roster. Well, Valder, he will check it. Good nice shot. shot. Ooh. Getting awkward now. Fnatic are going to lose everything. Every penny, every schmeckle they spent. Now lying idle on the floor, if not in the hands of an OG member. Look at that. They've all got upgrades. None You're of right. them. No, like, wow. So obviously they, they took a scout through, right? But yep. they got the M4, they got both Famuses and the MP9. So they get a free buy going into the next round of play. That's how clean it was. Can you guys just remind me, who was the team? There was Heartbreak for OG recently. It was... Potentially semi-finals, it might have been, and I can't remember, it was, was it new kind of feel? Something was ridiculous where they dropped the ball. Something like yeah, that like something happened, and it was ridiculous. Yeah. And Alexi was doing great as well. We were so ready to see OG just take it that step further, and they have upgraded away from the old scoot. And in one parallel universe, the fast push-up middle from the CT puts the scout in his hands, and he flanks them all and shoots them in the back of the head. It's not happening. Man can dream. Oof, made a little bit early there, not doing as much damage over towards the A ramp as it could have, and now Flush is in danger. Or is it them? Two dinks. Damage. damage, yeah, gosh, that hurts, but Issa needs to take some space here, and CT's a bit too much, asking too much of him. The wall bangs and spray. Three of them are low. Oh, they are so low. Maybe Fnatic can do something oh. about this. He just pulls the trigger. Golden's in trouble as well, spotted out on CT. Nade's coming his way, and Flash is too. That was his chance. Valder had the M4 and the most health, but now, unfortunately, things will 
wind down. I got a feeling about this one for Crims. Got a tingle? Okay, well, let's follow through with Chad's tingle. Let's cast it like he's got a shot. All right. A 1v4. Now, the bomb is towards Palace, and they're trying to clear. They're being quite procedural about it, and MBK's got an inkling himself. He's got an idea. He's got a consideration. Oh. And it was a quick shot that put down Crim, so no chances to be had. And oh, NBK. Eat him with the spiciness. Give him some of that so back. Give it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Rashley. Yo, what up? You know what time it is? The USPs are out. Yeah, well, we save you for the special rounds, mate. I you don't know, know. That. Golden has a Deagle. He's pretty good with it. Yeah, but he that's could what get we, all five. We're testing you here. This is like we told you. It's like American Idol, but for casting. All right, MC, you want to take it away? MC in terms of the observing. <laughs> <laughs> A stack coming in here. Nice little boost on the triple box. Uh, as always, these rounds feel impossible to win, but it only takes a little one dig from Golden sneaking into the apartment position. But I don't think uh, it's going to be a tough one here. Issa, I think he's going to mop them all up with this little uh, MP9, which was stolen. There's still a lot of stolen weapons, pretty much all of them, but Issa clearing them off here. Golden just taking a quick shot in. I think but, using uh, your MP9 at that range is illegal, actually. It might actually be, to be honest, but uh, this is a weapon with a bit more range, and MBK showing us why. The first fire not out, but JW with the USP. Uh, you don't like to see that if you're the T side or an OG fan. If anyone's out there, Pog is in the chat. Uh, but it looks like they will be moving towards the A site, and that's where the danger man is. Golden with this Deagle. I believe, I, can't, I actually don't know what skin it is, but they are coming his way. He, he's going to do anything. It needs to be somewhat now. Missing the shot there. Uh. Looking for someone coming out. Apps. No one's coming, though. They're taking their time with this. Really don't want to lose this one. It would be embarrassing, so I doubt they are. But another missed shot coming in. Some pre-fires going all over the shop. Valdi is peeking him now. Could get caught out. Looks like it's a good off angle, though. But Bomb going down in a safe position. The jump over the box is going to be very hard to deal with. It's a potent spot. And now Flusher with the USP gets a dink off, but not much they can do regardless. I'm really liking the new layer of like opinion and sass that's coming out of Rush's cast. I think it's we've broken, not broken him. Let me broken his myself. mold. We've broken his mold. He's yes. no longer putting himself in a weird box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and now we're really unlocking that eco cast from our observer. Love that Rush Lee. Congratulations. Ten points to Ravenclaw. It's more of a Hufflepuff, isn't he? I don't know. It's a toss up. Definitely not a Slytherin. I mean, he's definitely not a Slytherin. I don't know if he's quite got the heart of a lion for Gryffindor. Mm. You know, he's more of a Tin Man kind of thing. Let's uh, really round this round out. If Fnatic lose this one, they are in trouble here on map number three. And OG just three rounds away at that point from closing it out and getting into that grand final. Three francs from Flush. It's rare to see him have an off game in such a crucial and high intensity match. Often the pressure of a semi final enough to awaken the beast within but OG have tamed it quite comfortably. Don't love seeing Brolin over towards the B site. I won't lie. I appreciate your honesty. Crims, whoa, nutmeg. 10BK gets a half second advantage and he uses it. Flush has gone too for his 16th death in our 20th round. Hasn't been a great great one from him. And Vald is winning his wow. jewels. It just seems like OG are winning their jewels at this point. I mean, the commentary, the analysis, it does get rather lack lackluster at this stage because OG just winning their, their fights across the map. Yeah, and with the openings, they're able to string Fnatic out into awkward fights, awkward duels, and then poke their head out of their hidey holes and finish them off. And now, speaking of a man in a hidey hole, it is JW just tucked in towards this cubby position. Has the M4A4, no defuse kit, smoke and a flash. There will be no ninja defuse coming through right now as Fnatic, they have conceded this round. Their loss bonus is not tickety-boo. And if Issa clears his corners here, which he very much will, oh, he won't. Okay, JW wants to hold on to this. He won't go for a knife right now. He just wants to hold on to the rifle. Very, very important stuff. And that might even be a little bit early because they're on the case right now. He's staying alive. Live the bomb's going to go live. off. And oh, he's going to tuck <laughs> in. And MBK takes him down. So money's rubbish. 2,900 coming into the next round for Fnatic. They'll have to take a partial investment. OG will get up to 14. Then from 14-7, Fnatic will be able to get their buy on the board. And they need to start getting some kills and they need to start getting some rounds. Now, I want to see another gun round to see if Flusher is still playing over towards that A side of things. And if he is, I know where I'm going if I'm OG. Hitting that site, seeing if they can bully it with some mid splits coming out with A executes across the board. When Brolin was over that side of the map, it's a scary place to be. But when you put Brolin over towards B apps, you start to make Chad sad. Don't cage an animal. And that's what he is. Set him free. 
Allow him to get some jewels, some room, some places to fight. If he's stuck into that, that B's site, nothing more boring for a player of his caliber to be stuck with that area of the map. In his cage. OG with their tickets to the zoo. <sighs> Despite all his rage, still just a... Swede in a cage. Yeah, that's how it goes. Despite all the rage, I'm still just a Swede in a cage. Ding, 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 ding. It's good. Uh, I'm not on the board, of course, and uh, keep in mind this is normally a rushly round. It's quite an upgraded Rushly round, though. How you, Rush, do you feel like you're up to this? Hello? Is it too much? Sure thing. MC, take it away. Okay, he's, he's, he's ready to go. Rum roll, P please, ladies and gentlemen. Rushly, one, two, three, four, five, six steps into the arena. Yeah, it's looking like a beer. This fight we've been looking at forever, so hopefully one of them kills each other. Finally, I was waiting for that one to come in, but running into a triple stack on B. There are some better weapons than before, so this could get very, very dicey here. Lots of good util coming out, though. Lots of mollies denying the space and walking onto the side now. Brolin. They did come towards B, but yeah, like I said, a Sweden the cage, put him on the A site, give him the Krieg. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the, the Krieg. Get him the Craig. Get him the Krieg. <laughs> Somehow. He has got the uh, the poor man's Krieg, though. It is the org. Double orbs or out. The AUG, as Chad calls it, to confuse everyone when he says, drop me an orb. No, I was saying drop me the org, but it just I... sounds so Sounds orpy. like orb. I'm Orp. sorry that that's He doesn't still... enunciate, and I'm sat there going... Whoa. Okay, let's call it the AUG from Aug. now on. I'm not... Nothing sounds like I'm that. I'm just going to type. Chad. All right, all right, all right. Can't take Maddox, double ops. Now. No diffuse kit. They need to get this one on the board. Oh, God. That's not bad. That's oh, really good. That's kill. practically a double kill. He'll take it. It's yep. putting bullets into a NBK. Oh, here we go. A fanatic round just like that. Impossible to comprehend and quantify. They just charged in and died. Yeah, don't take a don't take just a straight up fight against Fnatic. That's all that they were managing to convert in the previous half. Let's you know. I mean, the double orbs haven't even revealed themselves yet. Like this right. this round has been so fast that the secret ingredient hasn't even needed to rear its head. Flusher, you know who Flusher. He's gonna sit here for ten seconds, get impatient, and want to look towards Alexi's Tetris position. Speaking of Alexi, by the way, great Molly, great Molly. I'm still giving it some. Right now, it's just damage on the cards here for OG. If they can win the round, that's a bonus. I mean, they are uh, locked on in towards T-Spawn. So if Golden searches too far, he might actually get taken out of the rounds here because Alexi and Mantu, they're coming, and they have 50 seconds left. So Golden, luckily for him, he hasn't pushed too far forward, can actually use the staircase to shroud his position, and he will get the tips of their heads as they come on up if they want to go towards B Apartments. Has he been spotted on that jiggle? Alexi's seen something. Alexi has Seems an idea. very aware otherwise. Man two. That's good. This is great. Keeping this in check. 35 seconds. There's going to be a couple of players out of place. Maybe they get a 2v2 rather than a 2v4. Let's see, though. JW watching the cross. This is where a classic orb like JW will always find shots, and he does. Alexi B loses life, and Mantu goes down as well. Fnatic maintain. Still want to make sure I highlight that the double orb has not been spotted out. So, so Flusher not finding a shot, not firing a shot, will remain an unknown entity. It's 14 to 8. This is very reminiscent of how our train win went down. This was Fnatic's map pick. And of course, we saw OG with a lead that eventually was pulled across the line. But it's, it, it's been always framed as a as a possibility Fnatic to forge a comeback. Brolin back to B, Chad frowning. Maybe he'll win some monumental round over there and we can all get excited. But what's most likely going to happen is OG will win their rounds over towards A and uh, the game will finish in the favor of the Sunflowers. But uh, more than one. Away we go. Smokes towards A, just to draw out the CT attention. They've done exactly that. Alexi continuing to sell this. 25 kills to his name and Flusher on the other side of things. Flash will come on through. Now he's blind and hits a big shot there. But the window boost is coming on through and Golden. <gasps> You have overstayed. You're welcome, my friend. Oh, and a miss from JW. Issa gets a new lease of life. He's supposed to be dead. And now he's going for the ballsy maneuver. Up short, fast. That could catch them off guard, perhaps. JW rotating into B. It will be the A finish. Issa to sell this. Okay. Okay. So JW posting up on short. That's going to give him some uh, avenue to contribute on the A take. No fun for Valder here, but Issa can totally hear the scope. He's trying to bait it, and he does. Now on the bolt, he can push. This is teamwork, and it's manifesting so well for OG. Could be the 15th here, but immediately Krim says no. Mantu did find Flush's AWP, though. Crucial Jewel. <sighs> Trolls the spray. Down to 73. That's just trivial at this point. A 2v2, very winnable. NBK could be falling foul. They line up, but Mantu's AWP is hitting the shots, oh, and so's Krim's. Krim's. 
Known for saving Fnatic and digging them out of holes. He's already got three in the round. 20 seconds. Is Mantu disconnected or is he just pausing? Sitting around the site now. Trying to hide his barrel. Shadow and a peek and a frag. Crims, four kills. He pulls Fnatic, kicking and screaming into a ninth on the board. I think Mantu wanted to pick up the AK there. You saw him drop his orb and then yeah. just hoping that the AK would magically appear in his hands, but not to be Did the not. case. As, uh, yeah, Crims, absolutely gargantuan <laughs> stuff here. It's a punishing JW, but Crim's the king of connector. We know how good he can be around this position, and we've been saying this for five years. So uh, <laughs> it's one of the positions and uh, players who we can actually continue to push with the same storyline. Now back underway we go. Double orps are out again. Golden spotted that, and Golden's been flashed on up, so he's been hurt. His position's been noted, and he's going to get taken down. Alexi continuing to lead by example, Oof. finds an opening. Big nades, though, having to commit so much just to deny that presence. This quick B-lean. We'll see what Brolin can do now. Molly's flash is quick, play up short from East is gonna crack it open. JW tries to get over quick, no smokes in the way, he can't do it. They're locked in here. Oh, great utility usage from OG. They've just flubbed their Molly. And it does give Flusher a little bit of an avenue. He actually hits that shot, costs him his life, could have been the way back in. Suppressing shots, tagging up, but Valda wants to end it right here. And he does find it right now. 15. For OG, one round away from the elusive Grand Finals. Chad's made it very clear. OG have not, since this roster's inception, found themselves in a Grand Final, always stopped at that semi-final pillar. One round now separates them from doing what they haven't so far this year. And the money is terrible for Fnatic going into this final round of play here. Famous is the best weapon they have to uh, tout about. It's just Deagles, Utility, not even a Diffuse Kit. OG, it's looking likely. It's also looking like Fnatic with Deagles is always one not to be ruled out. Maybe it should be. Mantu deletes J-Dubs. Flusher wants to make a play. And MBK knows it's coming. He's up against Fnatic. They got a man advantage. Of course they're pushing oh. through the smoke. Everything's going OG's way. And Mirage very well seems to be going in a similar direction. Two frags separating OG from being the first team locked into the IEM New York 2020 online grand finals. For the European division. Golden, Brolin. No rush whatsoever for OG. Five fully health members of the squad. The bomb's still loose. Like, no one's in any sort of rush. Hoping that these CTs step a toe out of line. The only way back in is a mistake from OG, and that is a justification alone for their passive stance. Here's MBK. He is going to be the lurk, but an active one. He wants to confirm... There's no one obviously lurking around the uh, A department. Firing off some shots, hoping to draw a peek. And they're going back. Okay. They've... There you go. Shot like <gasps> they that. They saw Golden and, and they were leaning towards B for a fair amount of that. They were slowly building, but no. It's 16 and it's OG making.